Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is James in Nashville and this will be a World Beyond video. I'll be talking about Season 2, so if you're not caught up to World Beyond, and probably The Walking Dead as well. It was Season 9, Episode 5, the last time that we saw Rick Grimes. He went away on a helicopter with who? Jadis, or Anne, but we'll call her Jadis. And Season 2 of World Beyond brings Jadis back, and it will let us know a little bit about what went on during those six years. We did get another little trailer it had a bunch of the same scenes in it. We got a few new scenes. We got the helicopters coming up over the rise there, and that's the same one that the walkers are coming over, uh, heading towards Omaha. We get this shot of a CRM soldier wall or blockade in the road, and on the lower right-hand side, you can see who looks like Will. That looks like his jacket. And we get this shot of Huck, and I'm not sure if this is like maybe remembering in the past, a flashback type thing, or something current. And we see some CRM soldiers lined up in the woods. In some other promos, we know the scientists have went out into the woods for like a little field trip. Not sure if this is the same type of scene. And amongst a lot of the other same scenes, we get what looks like Iris KOing a CRM soldier with something. But the main thing I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video is an article over at EW.com. Several people are reporting on it, but that's the one I will link to for you. When the full trailer, official trailer, was released for World Beyond Season 2, Jadis was at the end of it. And she said, I know that the Civic Republic is the last light of the world, and my purpose is to create a new era on this planet. So interviewing the showrunner Matt Negretti, he said in the trailer when we reveal that Jadis is indeed going to be a part of this show, there's some dialogue that accompanies that visual. She's talking about how much she believes in the CRM. She sees it as the last light of the world. We don't know if that's a put on or if that's real, but that's what she's saying nonetheless. Negretti notes that just as important as what Jadis is saying is what she's dressed in. She's wearing that CRM uniform, he says, and it's also got a very interesting decorative rope to it that we haven't seen on a CRM uniform before. So it's possible she's a different part of the CRM, and we might be revealing more about that. So right off the bat, I want to say that that gold rope on the uniform, when you see that on military personnel, really in militaries across the globe, in modern times, that represents usually a special achievement or specific duty that this person did. And I think the specific duty that she did was she went out into the field, created a little community to be able to give experimental subjects and slaves, prisoners, soldiers, whatever bees may become. She was out in the field doing that, doing some research, doing stuff for CRM. She had a specific duty out there. So I think once Jadis returned, she was able to get that uniform, maybe even go up higher a rank or so, but she got that gold rope for her achievements out in the field. But let's continue with the article. Negretti teases that the show will also be filling in the gaps as to what she has been through in the missing years since she stepped onto that helicopter. Six years have gone by, says Negretti, and we're not going to ignore those six years that passed in between her leaving that show and coming onto this show. She will be talking a bit about what happened to her after she climbed on that helicopter with Rick. And I do think, from a Walking Dead fan perspective, that's going to be very intriguing for a lot of people watching. Negretti was a writer back on The Walking Dead during the days Jadis was around, so he's written for that character actually before. We saw her on The Walking Dead when she became a leader of this group that lived in this trash heap, and now we're seeing a very different iteration of Jadis, where she's got some new objectives, some new goals. In a lot of ways, she's the same old Jadis, but we're going to be seeing some new sides of her, and I'm excited for everyone to check it out. So we should be getting some more of the backstory or the in-between, the helicopter ride, what happened after that, so some of my prediction of Jadis, like I said, I think the gold rope is simply her achievement out in the field. I do think she is still a good guy or on our side, however you want to say it. I think she still wants to take down CRM or at least survive and help our group, help Rick, help Rick's side. She may want to do both. She may still want to achieve CRM's agenda, but she wants to save some of her friends like Rick. I also think it was Jadis on the boat that had Rick's boots that etched the thing in the cell phone, the little images of uh, Michonne and Judith. She was passing by, spied on Alexandria, got to see Judith grown up. She etched that into the phone. She wrote some Japanese that, hey, Jadis would probably know that. And she might have taught Rick or someone did 
while Rick's been imprisoned. Or maybe Rick has a friend that would have been able to read that for him. I've done countless videos on, well, why would Jadis have Rick's boots? And so you can check out those. And it just makes total sense that it was Jadis spying for Rick to send a message back to Rick to be able to communicate to Rick. So all those details, as far as that goes, why Jadis was out uh, in the field in the first place, what rank she is, is she special in any other kind of way? Some of the details about the helicopter, Rick, uh, where he went, what happened to him, his status. You know, there's a lot of details we can find out. And I think that's the biggest thing, one of the biggest things that they could have put into season two to try to get fans to tune in. But just that element right there makes it pretty exciting for me anyway as a fan. And I can't wait to see it, how it plays out, at least what they tell us. But you guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. The links are in the description for stuff. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff.